Hello and I'm the fish vet. So now we're revisiting Fat Alberta. And just to recap, the owner called us during winter to attend to a bloated goldfish, uh, which we suspect was due to it being egg bound because we were able to extract some eggs from her. Basically now we're in the late spring and early summer. This is a time uh, when the water is warm, the day length has increased and it's a good time to give her the injection of Overprim which is a mixture of domperidone and a salmon gonadotropin releasing hormone analog and these would act in concert to be able to help her eggs uh, arrive at the late stages of maturation and also release of the eggs. The next step is to actually take her out, give her, uh, measure her body weight and give her an injection of the overprim into her abdomen. Okay, so we've weighed Alberta and she weighs 0.4 kilograms. The dose rate we're going to use is at 0.2, milli uh, 0.2 mils per kilogram, which measures out to be about 0.08 mils. So we've drawn that out in the needle and we're going to inject that into her abdomen. But what you can uh, observe from Alberta is that um, she's actually swollen beyond normal physiological uh, limits. Um, her skin is very stretched and you can see um, almost see through um, the thinning of her abdominal muscles into what's inside her. Um, so we'll, we'll go with the um, overprim to make sure that she can uh, release the eggs but we may be dealing with something more complicated maybe polycystic kidney disease or an ovarian um, tumor. Okay, so she's still very sprightly. So basically just intraperitoneal, just giving that into the abdomen. So for Alberta, uh, that hormone overprim should take about 24 to 36 hours on average to work. So early tomorrow morning, we should try to observe any evidence of males chasing her to, uh, to spawn. Otherwise, what we'll have to do is we'll have to manually hand strip her. Just uh, so just putting a bit of abdominal pressure uh, towards and cordially towards the vent and um, help to move out any of the ovarian fluid and also uh, the eggs. So here we are 17 days later, we're revisiting Alberta. We had administered overprim into her and also another female fish in the pond. The following morning, the owners reported a hive of activity, a lot of commotion happening in the pond with fish chasing each other and jumping out of the water. And this basically is the spawning activity. And here we have the result of the spawning activity. These are two week old fry. And here, if you can see, they're already at the free swimming stage. Uh, the yolk sacs are fully resorbed. They're actively uh, looking and hunting for food. After injecting the day after, the owner was instructed to do the massage to try and remove as much fluid or eggs as possible. Uh, some the owner managed to get a few, a bit of the fluid out and it sort of alleviated some of the pressure on its, on its body and on, it, on her organs. So here's Alberta close up. We can still, you can see now that the, the skin has gone a lot nice and white. It's not congested. Uh, the right hand side, if you remember, it would look quite necrotic from all the pressure. Uh, but now it's sort of healing up. You can still see a bit of transparency. That means there's still pressure pushing on the abdominal wall uh, but this is giving her some grief in terms of um, her ability to swim properly and uh, right herself and also uh, putting pressure on the workings of the um, abdominal organs. So if we turn her over you can actually see the asymmetry of the mass um, much clearer. So you can see that the right side has gone down considerably whereas her left hand side is still quite swollen. Okay so what we're gonna try and do is we'll try and remove as much more fluid as we can uh, just by gentle massage. So I'm just cradling uh, Alberta in both hands and gently pushing, uh, sliding my, my thumbs towards her vent. Just very, very gentle pressure. You can see some fluid coming up. Looks to be maybe a little bit blood tinged as well. So just 
tells you that the it's a fairly vascular thing that's happening that's inside so yeah so very gentle pressure uh, but you can see that there's a reddish colored fluid that means um, whatever's in there probably cystic nature it's probably highly vascular a lot of blood vessels um, with very fragile blood vessel walls okay so we've tried overprim day increasing day length temperature and manual stripping and all of that has only had a very minimal effect and while we were manually stripping Alberta we noticed some blood coming out so it means that there's something um, that's vascular that's growing inside of her so this suggests that there's a tumor inside of her which could be a cystic mass uh, or a solid soft tissue mass so whatever is growing inside of Alberta it's just going to keep growing and it's going to put a lot of pressure on her internal organs and eventually the condition is going to be terminal. So our only final option is surgical intervention. Um, that's a long convoluted procedure so we'll show you that in another video. So ending on a positive note, some of these little cute babies could belong to Alberta. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you get updates of our future videos and have a fantastic week. Thank you.